Hey folks, um, welcome to uh, one of a bunch of random hardware and Optimed tips. Um, I was planning to do a few videos and some of the gear I've got in here. Um, and really I wanted to probably plan it out a little bit better but I'm about to pack all this stuff down and I was just sussing something out on here and I thought I'd share it with you. Um, so pitch bends, um, Octomed pitch bend. So you want to do a snare fill or something like that jungle and you want the snare to go up or down. Um, in Octomed you can't record your um, you can't record your pitch bend on your controller. It doesn't do that, but you can program it in. Um, so we're looking at this track here. The command for pitch bend is bend up is one, bend down is two, uh, and that goes in this field here. Those who don't know, this is your note. This is the instrument that's being played, uh, which corresponds to this here. I'm on, um, not on the right channel there at the moment. Let me just scan back down. Um, the shortcut, sorry, shaky camera, shaky camera. The shortcut for that is um, shift and uh, left and right arrows. So if you want to go down, so I'm going down there to MIDI one and up, you go like that, down. All right. Um, so yeah, MIDI one. And yeah, so that's your MIDI channel, and this is your command here. Um, sorry, this is your instrument, that's your command, and this is the, the value of that command, if you like. Um, so yeah, what I was, the problem I was just having is um, I'm, I was coming up and then for some reason the bend was kind of leveling out and there was no more pitch, it just kind of stuck at a particular level. Uh, the tricky bit that I found working this out was the hexadecimal number system. I'm not really used to it, as I'm sure a lot of people probably aren't. But anyway, basically hexadecimal gets to nine and then you've got like A, B, C, D, E, F, and so on. And then before you get to 10 and then you get up to 19 and then there's the letters again in there. So the trick is to find a good sequence of numbers that gives you the bend that you're looking for. And I found the problem I would had is um, the reason why my bend was kind of leveling out is I'm, I'm triggering my S2000 here and if you go down to it's kind of near the last page what we are two up from the last page it sets the uh, distance of your pitch bend and as standard it loads up with a bend of two octaves so I've knocked that up to 12 that's pretty big but it seemed to work for the number sequence I've got in here. So I've gone, what, five, oh, um, I've got space on still. So I've gone five, nine, B, D, F, 10, 14. Um, I started bending down when I got to um, halfway through the, the, the um, block here. Um, so, same sequence of numbers, but I've got the command two to bend down. So I've still got the same sequence here, three, five, nine, B, D, F, 10. And that's got a really nice bend down. So, um, so I'm gonna unmute that and just give you a play. If you didn't know, you can uh, mute and unmute your tracks with these buttons here, track one, track two, track three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, as you can see up here in this area. So I'm gonna unmute that second track and here you go. There you go, that, that's what I was looking for and that little combination of, a little bit of information there kind of achieved what I was looking for. Um, the other thing I was trying to suss out um, is a nice fade. I'm still gonna work on this because it's not as smooth as you'd want it to be, but to fade, volume fade, uh, your command is C, as you can see in this track here, there's my C command. Uh, nice thing you can do with the volume fade, if I go to the play panel, is you can change it to decimal. So you can just use your standard number system there. Uh, so I've started at two there, probably should start at zero and be a bit smoother. Um, and I'm just going up two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then I'm going up in jumps of five there. 
um, but that will give you a volume fade. Here you go, I'll just go to the top of the block. Yeah. So as you can see, you probably want to make that a little bit smoother, but that's how you do it. Um, just a couple of little tips in here. If you didn't know, you can move around your block with these buttons here. So there's the top of the block and then like, you know, quarter of the way through. Well, what am I at there? Look, yeah, bar eight, bar 16, or beat 16, beat 24, and then I'm at the end. So that's, that's kind of handy. Um, you can flip the octave range that you're playing in in with these keys here if you didn't know um, you arm your record with escape if you've actually here's a nice little tip and I've already programmed it in here so what I've found is quite handy if you go to the top of the block and go over here so you can change your MIDI channel I don't know if I've or your, your instrument um, channel with I already told you that we won't go into that again um, if you look at this one here, this uh, track here, what I've put in there is a click track because I found it's quite handy to have a click track. Um, so it's just set to MIDI 10 and I found a nice um, note, just like a block or something on the JV 1080 here and popped a click track in there. To do that I just went to edit, put the space on 8 so that's like um, quarter notes and I whack that in and as a result you get a nice uh, hello, let's just mute that mute all of those guys and uh, yeah there we go look yes yeah, so you got a click track that's really handy for tuning your brakes that's another tutorial I'll do um, even without the, the audio there you still got a visual reference if you need to kind of get your, your breaks in time and stuff like that, that's really handy, or I find that really handy. Oh, I think that'll do for now. Um, like I say, I'm gonna do some stuff in a bit more detail, but that was something that I just was just bothering me and I sussed it out. And I, you know, since I'm about to pack this studio down, I thought I'd get this quick video up. Um, yeah, that'll do for now. Like I say, we'll go into this machine, we'll go into this machine, this machine, this machine, uh, we'll go into the 307 as well. Um, it's probably all we can have a look at this. I don't know if that's that interesting. Um, we'll go into a little bit more detail of what I've kind of sussed out with Octomed um, along the way. Like I say, I'm, I'm no expert. There's, I'm sure there's a heap of people out there who know far more than me, but I haven't found too many videos on YouTube, especially with Octomed. I can't find anything that explains this sort of stuff. Um, if you've seen any videos that explains this stuff, pass it my way, okay? I hope that that was helpful for someone.